everyone, my name is Thomas Knowles, I'm a fourth year medical student, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Cheetah Monitor device. It is used in anesthesia as a way to better gauge fluid status and a patient's ability to maintain end organ perfusion, which is key in managing complex patient cases. One way to assess fluid status is by understanding cardiac function. Traditionally, cardiac function was assessed using a pulmonary artery catheter, or a TEE, during surgery. These are obviously invasive procedures, not without risk, including infection, pneumothorax, or esophageal damage. Thus, the ability to assess cardiac function through non-invasive means can be much safer in the long run. Fortunately, the Cheetah Monitor is such a non-invasive device, and it works by attaching electrodes above and below the heart, as seen in this picture. By using the concept of bioimpedance, or how different body tissues impede electrical current, it can measure fluid changes in the thoracic cavity to derive cardiac output and other important parameters. The data screen of the cheetah monitor seen here provides numerous variables and their trends that allow an anesthesiologist to take a step back and get a bigger picture of how the case is going, uh, especially when incorporating other information like vitals and blood gases. This is particularly useful in prolonged cases with high risk of fluid shifts or blood loss, as well as in cases with patients that have complex cardiorespiratory pathologies. So to provide an example of how the cheetah monitor can be useful is in regards to fluid management. So say in the OR, a patient's hypotensive and has a metabolic acidosis, suggesting a state of poor tissue perfusion and shock. Your initial move may be to pump the patient with more fluids and reassessing clinical status and vitals after. However, if you have the cheetah monitor, you'd be able to give the fluid bolus and assess things like stroke volume variation to see if the patient is responding to the fluids or if the patient actually needs something like an inotrope like dopamine because the shock is cardiogenic in nature. Therefore, the cheetah monitor can provide a way to more accurately manage the patient's fluid status and avoid giving too much. I hope this presentation provides more insight into the usefulness of the cheetah monitor and the next time you're in the OR you have a better understanding of how it works. Thank you.